Hey, I'm Ansay. I'm out at the Germain Robin Aging Cellar. And what's up right now is the uh, Russell Henry Dark Gin. You're not allowed to. The feds won't let us put aged gin. They say there is no such category. So everybody's thinking of these, you know, different things to call their gin to indicate that it's aged. But if you put it in a clear bottle, you can see, right? There it is. Right. So this is what I like about this is so typically what happens, how products are created um, by really excellent, you know, craft method distillers. And this is Crispin Kane taking his uh, standard um, uh, London Dry Gin, which is, you know, uh, juniper and a bunch of botanicals. And just for fun, he took a small barrel, I think it held about 20 liters, and, you know, put 20 liters of, of his gin in it. And a year later, he came into my office. He says, I want to show you something. So, you know, he pours this product, which um, it's one of the, I didn't know what it was after he didn't tell me what it was and I'm tasting it. And it's just it's absolutely extraordinary. And I can tell that it's not whiskey because nobody puts, you know, juniper into whiskey. But he finally told me what he'd done. And I said to him, how much do I have? And he says, you know, after aging, we had about 13 bottles of it. And I said, you know, make 100 cases of it right now. That's about three barrels. And that was our first release. And this is now our second release where we have a little bit more of it. And it's been through, you know, it, all it is is like London Dye, Russell Hen Henry London Dry Gin put into barrels for a year and then bottled. And when I say put into barrels, he's doing, being crisp in this, you know, sophisticated uh, aging of, you know, using some used Germain Robin barrels, French oak, and some new bourbon barrels, and some older barrels that he's already used. But, you know, and this is one of the most sophisticated products on the planet. I can't explain it to you. I can't explain to you why a year of aging is going to turn London dry gin, which is plenty good. Paul Packlet rated it the number one gin uh, in his list um, about a year ago. But, you know, how much has happened to it is with aging botanicals, which, of course, nobody has much experience at. But I could uh, drink this all day long. It's a spectacular product.